Abigail! Jack! Anyone here? Anyone home? Oh, darling. I never thought I'd see this day again. You no good hillbilly piece of shit! I thought you was dead! I thought you was dead, John, huh? Where you been? Where you been? You know where I've been, darling. You know! You saw Dutch, didn't you? Yeah, I saw him. And Bill? Yeah, I saw him too. And you didn't go back to him? I left that life. Just as you left yours. How they treat you? Oh, I can take care of myself, John. One guard got funny on me one time, but I wasn't so ladylike, and he didn't try it again. Nor no one else. How's the boy? Oh, like you. And like me. Well, he's like a kid growing up without a father. That ain't fair. What is fair? Well... Some trees flourish, others die. Some cattle grow strong, others are taken by wolves. Some men are born rich enough and dumb enough to enjoy their lives. Ain't nothing fair, you know that. We tried to change, I mean, ain't that what you're supposed to do? We did change, and it's over now. Jack! Jack, come here, boy. Hello, sir. Come here. How you been? Coyotes ate all the chickens and poachers took the cattle. I tried, father. I tried. I know you did, son. I know. And don't you go blaming me, boy. Don't you go blaming me. I ain't blaming no one, old man, but since you're still alive, there's four mouths to feed. And no cattle. That's a nice way to greet somebody. Why don't I get to warm and tender embrace? Consider the fact I ain't put a bullet in you, your embrace, old man. You were supposed to look after the place. I did. Well, I did my best. Thing is, there was too many of them. Uh, I thought you was dead. I wasn't drinking. Hold your excuses until you figured out which one to use. Jack, go get your bags packed, boy. We got work to do. We leave in the morning. Go on. Yes, sir. Where are you going? Well, it's getting kind of dark now, but in the morning we've got to go get ourselves some more cattle. I've got friends at McFarland's ranch. It's over in Hennigan's stead who can sell us some. Now, Abigail, I hope you learned to cook. Yes, didn't I say? Rather than some prison, they actually kept me incarcerated in a cooking school for young ladies. Howdy, Paul. Are you ready? Let's haul out.
How you feeling, Jack? I'm feeling fine, sir. We got a decent ride ahead of us. I've never been to Hennigan's stead. How do you know these ranchers? I met them while I was away. The McFarlands are good people. We need folks we can trust right now. Met them how? I was sick and they looked after me. Sick how? You sure got a lot of questions. Well, I don't often get a chance to ask them. Was it a gentleman's complaint? What do they call it? The morning drip? Good God, boy, no! Where do you learn these things? Uncle told me about it. Well, he'd know, the dirty old fool. No, I just got weak for a while. Acted foolishly, got in trouble. Guess I was a little out of practice. Hey, Paul! What? Where were you all that time? Where'd you go? What'd your mother tell you? She said it was some kind of important government business. That's about right. Some people thought I owed them some favors. Why did they take us away? They thought it wasn't safe for you here by yourself. Those men harm you? I uh, know. They're okay. Some of them even told me stories. I think I'd like to be a government man one day. Or, or a politician. I'd rather you chose an honest profession. Well, like you, you mean? I know I ain't been the best father, Jack. I made some bad choices. But all that... that life... it's over now. Paul, was it something to do with Mr. Dutch and Bill? Why you went away? Who told you that? I kept hearing people say their names. That's all. Yeah, I caught up with Bill and Dutch. We had some old business needed settling. Where are they now? They're gone, son. We won't be seeing them again. They were angry at you, weren't they? That's why we had to leave. They was just good men who turned bad. I'll explain it to you one day. And what does that make you? I guess I'm a bad man who tried to be a good father. I don't know. Every man has a right to change. A chance of forgiveness. Ain't that what the good book says? You've never read me the good book, sir. Well, I imagine that's what it says. So, you ready to learn about herding cattle? I've never seen you herd anything, Paul. Apart from the odd pack of drugs. The McFarlands were good to me, and I helped them out in return. I learned a few things along the way. Wait till you see their ranch. It's what ours will be one day. I read in the newspaper their ranch is dead. Soon it'll just be factories and businesses around here. You shouldn't believe everything you read. I was thinking, maybe I might be a businessman. I thought you wanted to be a writer. Well, I could be both. A rich industrialist who writes novels about the Old West on the side. You can be whatever you want, son, but for now, let's concentrate on getting some food on the table. Unless you're planning on striking literary gold in the next day or two, that is. We shouldn't talk now, Jack. We don't want to waste all our breath before we even get there. There's the ranch. Come on, let's see if we can find Mr. McFarland. I thought I'd never see again. Some of our public servants in Blackwater sent you back on another homicidal errand to protect and save us from Lord only knows what. Thankfully not, sir. I was hoping you might still be able to sell me some cattle. My boy, it would be a pleasure. Bonnie's out to crowd now. She'll be more than happy to help you. <laughs> Take care now, Mr. McFarland. Good luck. Jack, you're gonna have an important job. I want you to lead the herd while I drive them from the back. Keep us all moving in the right direction. Sure, Paul. I can do that, no problem. And if you see cows straying off, can you help me round them up? Good Lord, do my eyes deceive me. A devil walks among us. 
I said I'd be back when this was all over, Miss McFarland. After the barn fire, you remember? Of course I remember. I just didn't believe a word of it. So, you've come for some cattle? Yeah, I'm finally starting up my farm again. Or trying to, at least. You'll be fine. You've been taught well. Come on, then. drink in my hand. Back to the riddles, I see. And Mr. Williamson? Let's just say Bill and I settled our differences. So, is this your boy? Yeah. Say hello to Miss McFarland, Jack. Hello. Ah, the arrogance of youth. He gets a little fur on his lip and he thinks he knows best all of a sudden. <laughs> Must take after his father. Let's go! Whoa! Slow down! How's your wife? She's well, I think. We haven't had much time to talk yet. Well, I'm glad you're back together again. It's gonna take some time. We've all been through a lot. How's the ranch? We're surviving, but it hasn't gotten any easier. If you're still struggling, there's not much hope for me. Yeah. Whoa! Looks like you got him under control. I best get back to Paul. Nice to see you again, Miss McFarland. And thanks for Call everything. Me funny, you don't. Get up! All right, Jack. Let's get him through the river! Thank you. 
I'll deal with this! Stay with the herd, Jack! That's all of them. Jack! Wait there! I'm coming! You alright? You're not hurt, are you? No. I'm fine. I'm fine. I, I wasn't scared, honest. Sorry you had to see that, son. Those men won't be stealing from anybody else. Alright. Let's round up the stragglers and get moving. Towards home. I know where I'm going, Paul. Hail to thee. Yeah. Lead him into the pit! Easy. Let's Come go. on. Here we are. I'm proud of you, son. Thanks, Paul. That's got to be more exciting than those books of yours. Oh, uh, sure. If nearly getting killed is your idea of excitement. There you go. Nice work, son. We made it. You did real good out there. Go on. Hit your horse and wait for me by the stable. Whoa! Did a good job, son. Nice shooting. Thanks, Paul. Make a rancher of you yet. <laughs> 